Hey guys, it's Banna. Welcome back to Kitchen. Kitchen. Let's go to the kitchen. Uh, welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. In the last part, we did some stuff and things. We knocked off one of the Purple Coin missions, and we knocked off two of them. We knocked off Toy Times as well as Beach Ball. And now we're going to go to the kitchen because there was apparently a Purple Coin mission here, and I would like to knock off the Purple Coin mission because I would like the Comet for Ghostly Galaxy. It's Ghostly Galaxy... Oh yeah, Ghostly Galaxy is a tough one. It was the freaking Bone Pit. Wasn't it? The Bone Pen, yeah. Gosh, I remember this one. You get like a minute to try and grab a hundred. There's like a hundred and fifty in there, I guess. But it's pretty tough. Yeah, this one's tough. Basically... Don't wait it out. Don't wait it out, just reach for the next one. And if you're bouncing off... Off them, just... If you're bouncing off them way too much, just... Try and grab for another one. Because you want to keep moving. Because if you keep moving, you'll grab a lot of them anyway, but you also want to make sure that you kind of still... Oh, I missed them a lot. See, I'm on 68, and we're halfway done. The other thing is, that also, you got to have enough time to get it back, because the timer keeps going. That one's just a mean one. That, no. The timer keeps going even when the star appears, so you got to make sure. There you go. We got this. You need to make sure that you can grab the star in the time limit as well. Oh gosh. Got it! First go! Boom! Yahoo! That was awesome. That was awesome. Okay, so that was a good start to the part, to the fart. 30 stars left. Galaxy complete. Done with all that. Chickens are out of the coop. Or the basket. Uh, no more stars. I was thinking that purple coin would be back. Uh, let's see if we can head up to. Uh, I'm actually gonna head up to the. To the burp. No, to the um garden. Don't know if it's faster the other way or something. Anyway, let's try and do this anyway. Whoop. There you go, got it. We'll basically just start the... Oh, wait, we got the Gate Galaxy, yeah. This one's kind of separated from the other one, and it's also kind of weird because you just end up on here. But basically, what you gotta do is... You have to go up to the top and grab the debug item. The debug item, which they were going to put in more stages of the game, but... Anyway, Rosalina's standing here, even though she was outside. It's very dear to me. I look forward to visiting this planet. I don't know what is with Rosalina's voice, but... Lumis, I'll be traveling and will grow up to become stars. Those stars will become power stars, and those power stars will have a very low battery. <laughs> Oh gosh. But I never thought all this would happen. That the power starts get sold. Actually, nothing really bad has happened. This was and then she's just gone. Mom, I must really trust you. How about this? If you grab all hundred coins, then you earn my trust. Red stars, but red stars as in the two in the game. One here and one in the observatory, which serves no purpose. And it's weird because I never use this anywhere else in the game. Oh crap, I missed a couple. They never use this anywhere else in the game, so besides the observatory, but still, that's 
That's not a good concept. It was just kind of thrown in there. It, it was... It was used quite a bit in debugging. I'm gonna need to go back and grab that. Yeah. I'll grab these two and I'll head back. Also, if you hold down A... No time limit, I know. If you hold down A, you can stop and aim yourself, which is handy. For things such as kind of judging where you are in the 3D world, it's a bit difficult, and I think that's one thing, is that they couldn't find a place to incorporate it into the game, because they had just so many cool ideas, although spring suit much. Also, if you spin... Oh, I think that's the time one as well. So that's interesting to note that they that there was a time limit involved. So yeah, spinning is good too. Because you get to pick up things in like a very far distance. So if you don't wanna you know, grab them. <laughs> Other than that though, it's a pretty easy star. You know, it's only the Gate Galaxy that seems to not make the camera... Not to make Mario, like, upside, the right side in relation to the camera. It seems like every other galaxy seems to do that. I don't know why. Uh, grab another star. Can you grab the star? No, you can't grab the star with spin. Interesting note as well, it's a star. It's not a flower, it's a star. The other time power-ups, which were flowers, and all the mushrooms were the not time power-ups. So it's interesting how it's uh, how it's a star and not a flower. Until some developer will actually just <laughs> express everything that they made in debug, but never incorporate it in the rest of the game. Until some developer actually does that, then we will have no clue about the star. And then you get a red star because of that. Now, the red star doesn't serve any other purpose other than unlock the the red star in the in the common observatory. And now we're outside, so we can look at the board and see where another purple purple coin mission has ended up. Sorry, my nose is a little bit ill. 29 stars to go. And a hungry luma. Oh, the hungry luma outside the gate. We got one in the. Got one in the fountain. Let's go over there. Let's go to the fountain. Cause then we can knock off the fountain dome. And I know that. <laughs> what was it? it? Was. I can't remember what was the other galaxy in the kitchen. It was the Ghost of the Galaxy, the beach ball, and something else. Oh, gosh, I can't remember. Uh, fountain though, we gotta knock off battle rocks. Oh uh, yes. See, Battle Rock has a timed mission as well. It's technically it doesn't it doesn't have a time limit, but it is technically timed because you're on a you're on a moving platform. Where you gotta try and pick up all of the well. There's about 120 there, and then you need to pick up 100. See, so you, you need to you can fail this one. So you gotta make sure you don't miss too many. Other than that though, it's not that bad to be honest. I got some star bits while you're waiting. Ah, uh, okay. And unlike the other one, no, spinning will not grab them. You gotta actually walk into them. So one thing I like to note is, um, it's a little bit irrelevant to Mario, but basically... I'm kind of like looking into game design and things, like just... Thank you, battery. Uh, not actually like doing game design, I don't know how much Project Chris is going to be coming on, but... Uh, like just how... Oh crap, don't miss that. There you go. How video games uh, design in teaching players how to do stuff. If everyone, if anyone's seen Sequelitis, Bag Man X thing, I think you eat Raptor, which I think everyone has, then you would know exactly like 
you know, the best game design in teaching a player is not to tell them anything at all, but have them work it out. Uh, and Mario kind of gets there. Kind of gets there in this game. Oh crap, I'm doing this one tonight. Just those ones. Oh crap, there were a hundred. There were only a hundred, and thank goodness that I got them! Jeez! Oh, for a second there, I thought there were like 120. Wow. Okay, there were a hundred, and thank goodness I picked up all of them. Woohoo! Now, the only problem is that it's gonna chuck me back at the. Yeah, the dome. And considering that we've completed the dome, then it's not the best place to end up. There is no dome complete as well. But yeah, like, um, this game kind of tells you about things. It, like, stops to tell you things, but it doesn't... It doesn't wait. It doesn't do it throughout most of the game. It just does it at the very beginning portions of whenever you get a new item, such as, say, the spring suit. Like, if you got the spring suit, you'd be going, what the heck goes on? What the heck is the what the what the what? And yeah. No comets, okay. No comet. It's garden time. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah. Oh, I could totally pick up the red star, couldn't I? Just fly up there. I'm actually gonna do that. Seriously, it's a, it's kind of annoying trying to get up to the garden. Thankfully, you get this fly around. You can't actually fly off to any of the galaxies which seem to be situated around the place. Anyway, this is the garden. It's a secret room. But yeah, like, I think it's good that the spring suit and items like that, they tell you exactly what the what the item does before you actually start getting to use it. And Mattisplay, we're going to jump into Mattisplay before we actually start on the main galaxies. Um, because, yeah, like, when you grab the spring suit, you would have no idea exactly what to what to do. Since it since it gives you just two lines saying if you press A at the bottom you can do a very high jump, so it's like okay, you'll be looking for high jumps, but you'll figure out that it's kind of tough to use. And that's it, they don't tell you anything more about it, they just let you figure it out. Anyway, Mad Display Galaxy is actually one that I really like. I love the camera angle just here, how it skips up to the side. But I really love this effect, and I have no clue how they did it. Could be something magical with the engine, but the engine just has this very fancy thing. Oh, it's like seriously, what do you think about it? Oh crap! So you gotta wait for the s spots, and then you gotta try and follow them. I think you actually gotta follow it across. Um, and then it goes back. Yeah, it goes back. Um, so yeah, it's kind of interesting how games teach you controls. Uh, I was playing Borderlands 2 a bit earlier, I know, um, and they're a little bit iffy about the controls, like especially, one thing I find kind of annoying is just when they say, some games, like, they just expect you to reload when you want to. In this game, if, it, if your ammo is anywhere below 30%, It'll, like, bark at the cursor and tell you to reload. Uh, and even by showing the key that does it. I mean, like, considering it's reloading, one of the probably one of the functions you'd be using so much, then it's surprising why they need to even tell you what the button is. Wouldn't you know how to reload? It's even, ah, it's the same button that you always use. Every single video game, every single first-person shooter that I've ever played has R as the reload. If there is a reload, thank you much, Doom. Um, you gotta wait for the platform. It's the one that looks like Grady. You can pop in through the bottom. Oh, what? I wasn't. I was totally standing. Uh, my battery is not low, thank you very much. Seriously, look at that. Okay, it's low. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need to live. Oh, that worked. Yippee! So yeah, um, 
The other thing is that also they have to like keep telling you, it's like, oh, V melee attacks, E examines, like why do they have to keep telling you what the controls are? I think you'd know what the use key is. Like about 10 hours in, wouldn't you? Alright. There's a pipe up there that I believe goes away. Oh. Alright, I was thinking it's like, oh, that goes to this hidden section? No, that just goes to the next bit. Anyway, if you stand here, then the whole stage will move forward and you have to kind of navigate your way. And since I just got rid of all the star bits, I have gotten rid of my hints. Okay, let's see if we can do this. It's not like, uh, the one in... Galaxy 2 where it, like, flash... I think it's Flashback Galaxy? Or is it Flash Black? I don't know. But basically, it just... It, it just lights up. It just lights up, like, every second or so. Every couple of seconds. Oh... It lights up every couple of seconds, and you have to try and work out where you're going from that. Oh gosh, freaking Magic Coopers! Hate them, hate them. Okay, we're almost there. Yeah, it's a bit of a lengthy side galaxy, isn't it? Why did I jump to this one? <laughs> when can I jump to it? Okay, good enough. <laughs> Alright. So that was Matter Splatter Galaxy. Matter Splatter Galaxy. I also like how the dome music just stops in the garden. It's kind of nice. Uh, so we've got 27. 27. More stars left of the game. Um, let's see if we can do quite a few more. Uh, so we're going to start off with the first one. By the way, yeah, there's no Bowser stage because it's at the far end. I would <laughs> I would really like to do Melty Moles in Galaxy. I feel like doing that. Deep Dark is one of the ones I'm not a big fan of, mainly because I barely know it. I seem to know Melty Molson quite a fair bit, though. Loading. <laughs> anyway, the underground ghost ship. <laughs> anyway, you can get a lot of coins on this stage. But as for getting a lot of star bits, I'll do the star bit one. If you go into this cannon, there's a couple of things you can shoot at. I believe one thing, you can go up to the gate galaxy over there if you want, it's not really the gate galaxy, but the best thing you can do is aim at the... My hand is so shaky. Aim at the rainbow star. They pick it up, and then you gotta try and knock as many of these guys as you can. Oh, you gotta go up here anyway. I'm gonna do a very good job. Right. Basically, you can get yourself up. You can get yourself a lot of star bits this way. As long as you pick them up before they expire. Nah, stop that. Anyway, then you gotta pick up the fly flower. You can fly up to that gate galaxy, but you only get coins, and considering how important coins are in this game. Yeah. Anyway, you gotta make sure you run with this. Oh, it's bouncing back. You need to light both of these. How are you supposed to figure that out? You just kind of try around. And then the music pops. I really do feel that you can shortcut your way up. Wow, you can! Whoa! Whoa! Dude, that was an awesome shortcut. And can I actually go anywhere from here? Let's see if I can try and get over there. Nah. Yeah, I know my battery is low. Besides, you're not supposed to go up here. In the first star. You're supposed to go underneath. Like, all the way underneath. I do like the atmosphere they're going with, though. It's a very nice atmosphere. Anyway, where are we supposed to go? 
Where is it? On the ledge above, and I just completely missed it. It was on the ledge above, and I completely missed it. And now the camera's kind of... Oh, there you go. That's what? There's a switch! I, I ran into that switch! Are you, are you kidding me? It's better. There you go. Repeat yourself. Anyway, you may want to get one of the bubbles. So what games are we excited for that's coming out? Um, I think people are excited about Call of Duty, and I'm just going like, I, I'll be... If, if it's going to do something different, then it'll be a good game. My sister's telling me Batman. I, I don't know what what the what Batman Oh Batman on on Wii U. Yeah, I mean Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, but the problem is I've played it already. I don't know what the Wii U special edition is gonna have other than that stuff, but we'll we'll, we'll save the Wii U games for a little time. Anyway, if you go onto the ship, we're reusing a boss fight! Actually considering that we pretty much need to redo a boss fight anyway. I'm okay if boss fights variate like this, you know, like, you do one at the very beginning of the game and then you do it, like, at the very end, you know? Same thing with King Caliente and I believe Dino Piranha a bit later. Anyway. Wow, you stood right in, right in front of me. Uh, but what else? Um... Is there a new... Need for Speed? I don't know. Need for Speed... The run. That is such a strange concept. And thank you, DICE, for make, making I believe. I mean, it's weird, because... We're making it for the Frostbite engine, and it's basically all it is, is that it has the vehicle component from Battlefield with the quick time events from Battlefield. I mean... I mean, it looked good in the trailers, but... I don't know, quick time events may even be a very lazy way of making... Ah, oh, crap. Of making, uh... Gameplay trailers. I mean, think about it. Think about it. Because you don't need to work on fancy animating. Uh, fancy modeling. Like you do in... Like you need in the CG trailers. Such as, say, Sonic and Sega all Stars racing thing. Oh, they have a very fancy CG um, trailer. Oh, they're making three fireballs. Uh, but, um... See, I really wish you could just, like, hit her in the face. Like, right here. Die! I know I'm gonna fall off, but I really wanted to make sure I hit her. Smash! And she's done for the rest of the game. Don't worry. Um, but, uh... But for things like... If you have quick time events, you can basically show off the quick time events. Yes, I know, you can show off the quick time events. And that's the problem though. Quick time events, I think, are probably one of the worst. Ooh. Like, why do people put in quick time events? It just makes the game look a bit fancier, but it kind of just breaks gameplay, unless if your entire game is a quick time event. Anyway, we're gonna jump to the second star of Deep Dark Galaxy, Deep Dark Galaxy, Deep Dark Galaxy. We've got six and three quarter minutes. So hopefully, we'll be able to knock off maybe the next two stars. Yeah, I mean, I know people have talked about quick time events, but I really hate it when developers just shove them in. Like I thought, here's a good note, Battlefield Bad Company 2 was a very good game. It was quite solid and, you know, even the final boss, while it was quite a pushover, it didn't involve. Holy crap, I've never fought this boss before. <laughs> Honestly, I will say this guy does get repeated quite a few times, but considering that we fought him in different ways all three times. And then he just got a double time on this. By the way, they're just bubbles, so don't worry about getting hit by them. I hit him! <laughs> oh no! Battery. Do you actually need the... I think you do, maybe. Maybe there's a star up there or something. 
Oh, you're gonna need the Firefly, yeah. I remember. Let's see if we can do this again, because you can do quite a lot of stuff. It's from this game. Yeah. Like, I thought Battlefield Bad Company 2 was a very, you know, well-polished game. Battlefield 3 was boasting in its fancy new engine. It was a, it was a very good-looking game. The lighting and whatnot and the sound really, really comes out. It has some very nice effects and whatnot. But the problem was, with that game, not only was it a mess to play, I mean, I thought I really didn't like Battlefield 3 as much as Bad Company 2, just because, just because the graphics got in the way. When will developers learn to not put the graphics in the way of the game? Oh, don't you stand in the way. Now, the challenge part is you have to figure out that there was one inside. And that'll make a nice flower. Holy snap, Galaxy, we're using both Freeze Flame. Considering they use them right after another, you get to hear the differences. Now, unfortunately, I don't think I, I'm able to use my fancy cheap card. Oh, gosh, that was close. Actually, you go around the entire thing, don't you? Yeah. Could you just jump to the end? I really do feel like you can just jump over here. Climb up this pole and... Holy crap, sequence break! Oh, crap. Maybe you just go stand on here? Crap! Crap! <laughs> so when I get hit finally, then I activate it. Uh, anyway, this one's kind of fancy. I believe you gotta kill the cheap cheeps? No. Maybe. And yes, holy crap, cheap cheeps! This is like the first time I've ever been in a 3D game, I think. No love for cheap cheeps. Oh, you gotta push the stumps. Take that, nature! So yeah, and I didn't, the other problem with it, that Battlefield 3 was just the quick time events in the, in the stage. I mean, the final boss fight, the, the final stage, literally was a huge quick time event. And in fact, it was very easy, one, because it was a repeat of the beginning of the game. I mean, if you're going to try and do a cool story, it only works in a film sense. Because if you're going to repeat exactly what happened in that in that beginning sequence, even with the difficulty, then jeez. Even with the commands telling you, like, what buttons do what. Like, again, stop freaking telling me that E opens the door. Why am I not doing good at this? Okay, hold on, I'll get on the back. Boom. Melon. No, actually, I'm gonna get that coin. Holy crap, Melon. And it just comes out the top. Okay, quick run before you get hit again. Uh, so anyway, we got two minutes. So I think I'll just start up the third star, really. I don't think the third star is really that long, but I really can't remember it, really. Really. I can't really remember it. Because I know the other two stars are going to take their time. Unless if they go for the fast foes. It's not fast foes, it's uh, Daredevil in this one. In Deep Dark, I believe. And holy crap, we're starting the garden. I just realized that, yeah. Oh, freaking purple coin mission. I believe this one may have a time limit. But considering that it's blocking the star I want, and I don't think there's any other stars I can do, I may as well have to do it. This one's time. No, this one's not timed. No, it's not. It's actually one of the easier not timed ones. So basically, it's just this area, and there's 100 purple coins in it. It's. It's definitely expansive. It's it's an area that you that that has quite a few areas, but it's not it's not that large to be honest. First of all, yeah, giant jellyfish that has some weird draw distance problems. The other thing is that also there's quite a few coins here. And I believe that's it. It just goes down to here. Ah, dang it. There you go. Yes, I know my freaking battery's low. Chaka Conroy's battery thing is now affecting me. 
Also, there's a couple. Of... How did I not get hit there? Really? Uh, oh. Yeah, there you go. Is there any other. Oh, there's one on the far end, that's about it. So I know the buzzer's gonna go off, but. It's not that long of a stage. I mean, they're even playing, um. Sanctuary of Stone and Fire music or whatever. I swear I heard this music before in, um. Rayman 2. Then you get trapped in the sand. There goes the buzzer. I'll actually get the undership ones and then I'll go up there. Because the thing is that there's also quite a few along the perimeter of the area, you know? Yeah, I mean, that's quite a lot of areas to go around in this star. Considering you barely go around any of it in the actual star, I mean, I mean, what areas did we go around in the actual star? We just went right out and then we just jumped on the ship and fought the boss. That was it. can jump onto the ship, but I'll save that for slightly after. There you go. Okay, it's around 30. I'll grab the ones that... Right there. Anyways, yeah, I did play Borderlands 2, by the way, and... What are my thoughts on it? I'm thinking, if you like the first, you may as well get it. If you didn't like the first, don't get it, because it's... Literally... It's literally way too much of a sequel. I think it's getting way too much praise for its own good. It's a good game, it's just that it's way too much like the first one, except they fixed a lot of things that were wrong. They didn't fix the car controls, as much as reviewers are saying. Um, and the, my biggest problem with the car controls is that they controlled very poorly. It was like, it only moved forward and back, and and it only moved forward and back in relation to the camera. And since you were firing at the same time, that was a little bit awkward. I mean, it was a little bit awkward in Grand Theft Auto uh, 4. You know. Uh, the camera, but... Like, it kind of worked. I appreciated being able to turn it left and right without having to steer with a mouse. Um, it's kind of weird. Uh, but anyway, yeah, so... Now, if it does seem like we're going to be here for like another three minutes, Donuts, I think it might it might be a bit shorter than that. Hey, it brought up this purple coin mission on itself. Ah. Uh, I thought I was missing a coin there, it was just a toad. Going Mario. There you go. See, the other thing with first person shooters is that the control is heavily reliant on the platform. Like, action games work well on any system, although they work a bit better on the on consoles, but you know, if you really need analog movement, you may a PC is able to get that kind of controller, but you can't use a mouse for consoles. Except maybe Halo, I think you can use one for that, but that's, that's beside the point. See, the thing is that, why do people play so many first-person shooters on Xbox and whatnot? You may as well play your first-person shooters on the PC, the control stuff's better. You can really get a good, say, a three-monitor display. Oh, that was a good jump. Yeah, like get like a three-monitor display if you really want that, that extra thing. Up. Anyway, so I think we're almost done here, actually. Uh, I think there's, there's a couple here. How do you get that other one? You just gotta do a very skilled jump. That wasn't a skilled jump. Alright, hold on. Line it up. No, nope, that's not how you line it up. Yes, I know my battery is low. That's twice in this stage. Come on. 
Nada. Got it. That was the tricky one. And then here's the last six. <laughs> Hi there. There you go. And the star is nicely in the middle. Okay, so I'm sorry that that, that dragged on that, 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 that dragged on a little bit. Um, but we should be good. So I, don't, I how many stars did I get? I think I only got six as part. Or did I get seven? I I wasn't keeping track. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Oh, I got seven. So we got 24 left, which is pretty nice. Anyway, I guess I'll see you kids next time. We'll just continue on with the garden. Okay, see you kids then. And we're clear. Yeah.